Hey, what's going on guys? Maybe the Cross back with you again here today. This time I'm bringing you some more Pokemon MMO, and I know I've been having trouble with my voice and everything on this game, where the sound's kind of been drowning me out, and my voice hasn't been very loud, and I've been messing with the settings, so hopefully today it will be better. I turn the music volume for the game down, and uh, I'll also mess with the settings in my actual recording, turning the game volume down there as well. Um, so hopefully you can hear me better today. I'm also sitting a little closer to my mic. Um, I will sit in the same distance I would do when I play PlayStation, but that wasn't working, so I'm a little bit closer to it now. And um, <clears throat> we're gonna, so we can get a little bit farther into this game. The first thing we're gonna do, this is Diglett's Cave. So we're gonna go through here. Oh, there's an item right here. Let me go, let me go check this out. Um, and I forget what you get on the other side. What it does is it takes you back just behind the uh, second city, between the second city and the forest, but you have to have cut to get anywhere else. But you get an item at the end of this, and I can't remember what it is. You get something. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Maybe catch a diglet or two. Or did one a diglet and a tree. Which is not something that's going to be in my party, but just something I... Uh, I'm gonna try to bite and see if that kills it. Probably because we're level 32 and that's double the Okay, well, we'll have to use rapid spin to uh, be able to catch them. We'll have to go through this cave and then come back through this cave. And then we'll uh, we'll go on the SSN because that's the next part of the story. And um, start it. We won't, most likely, will not finish it today because it's just a ton of different battles. A lot of battles and um, it's gonna take a while so it'll probably take a couple episodes to do all right so we're through Diglett's cave that's actually the least amount of Diglett that I've ever found so this is the only place you can go you get something here though let's see I find a Pokemon is just no energy left to battle it can still use a move like cut outside of battle okay we may need cut first I'm looking for a Pokemon Abra for my Mr. Mom. We'll do that. I don't have him with me. I have to bring him with me. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do need cut first. So actually, I was supposed to go to the SSN first before coming here because you have to cut that little bush right there and uh, go on down to get the item that I was thinking about getting. But we need to bring our Apper with us so we can get a Mr. Mom, which I will not, also not use, but it's the, that's the only place I know of that you can get a Mr. Mom. So uh, if, if you want to keep Abra in your party when you're going through the game, you need to catch two and then you can have a Mr. Mom. As well. All right, let's let's try catching. This one's a little stronger than the last one. We'll use rapid spin, and that'll be the only time we can actually hit it or we'll kill it. So uh, let's go ahead and throw a punk ball at it. Hope we'll catch it. One, two, three. There we go. And I've actually made a decision. And I was going to go through this cave first. But uh, I've actually decided what my next Pokemon in my party is going to be. Like I said, I already knew two or three of them were later in the game. But uh, the sixth one was kind of on edge. I really didn't know what I wanted to do, to be honest. But I think I've made a decision. And uh, we're going to... This is a Pokemon I've already caught. And we're going to add the Pokemon Center to heal here in just a minute. We're going to add a new Pokemon to our party. Go, to go through the uh, the boat with, and that's how we're going to train it, just going through the boat. So what you'll see me do, since I do not have an XP share, and I'm not even sure if there's one on this game, I know several of the games have XP share, and have been in <coughs> several recent games, but I don't have one in this one. If there is, I don't have it yet. In the original red, there wasn't, but in the fire red, which is the later version, there may be, I just can't remember. Uh, but I don't have one, so what, what, what you'll see me do is I'll put the new Pokemon as the first one into my party, and I'll send him out to start the battle, because as you know, the first one in your party is the one you send out in battle, and um, then I'll immediately swap to my War Turtle, who is really overleveled for this um, part of the game right now. So hopefully he'll have to take a few hits to win battles. But uh, that'll give both of them experience, and it'll train the uh, with your Pokemon up until it's a high enough level to be able to compete. So we're also going to go to the Pokemon and 
buy some uh, different potions and stuff so that we don't have to run back and forth from the boat constantly from uh, to the Pokemon Center, from the boat to the Pokemon Center. Because the turtle is going to take some hits and he's not going to be able to just take every hit that he takes and continue to win battles, so we will need to heal some. So that's the plan right now. If we ever get back through this cave, we see one going to the cave and then the fourth or fifth one on the way back. Usually Diglett's cave is is like this though. You uh, you find a lot of Diglets in here, and it's the only thing you can find in here as far as I know. I've never, I don't remember ever seeing anything else in Diglett's cave. Oh, there's something else we need to do too. We need to get our bike. That's right. Um, we're, we're right here, so so we don't waste time. We'll go ahead and buy what we need. All right, we need. We're gonna buy some super potions. We have nine thousand dollars, so we're gonna spend about. Man, that's twelve of them. We don't need that many. We'll, we'll spend. We'll get ten. All right. Um. I think we're gonna buy. Oh, they got TMs here. Shockwave. Flash train. Nothing that we need at the moment. Let's see, if we have anything to sell? We can sell the nugget. Sell. Um. We can sell our TMs that we don't need. I will never use Roar, so we'll sell that. Um, dig, I will use. Rock Tomb, possibly. Attract, we'll sell that. Um, we'll keep all that. Thief, maybe. We'll keep it for now. Alrighty. I did not even realize I had Bullet Seed, but that's cool. Alright, let's go over here to the Pokemon Center and heal up. And grab the new Pokemon that we're gonna add to our party. What in the world? Interesting. <laughs> They're all dressed alike. All right, here we go. Heal up War Turtle. All right, we'll go over here and we will uh, put Diglett in. Put Diglett in, and um, we're going to take out. Oddish. Oddish is the, let's look at its, its stats. Oddish is the new one that uh, I'm going to add to my party. It gives us a grass type and a poison type, which are, poison is really effective against like psychic and stuff like that. So it's big and then, you know, of course grass is good against water and um, so there we go. He uh, has a hasty nature, which I'm not sure what that means. It shows you in here somewhere. It's, uh, it's going to be a special attack and special defense Pokemon, as you can see. Um, I don't do worry about any of that. Where does it show you what its nature means? Alright, um, that's its thing. I, I could have swore it told you what the nature was in here somewhere. It shows you its happiness, EV training. That's cool stuff. Um, I don't know what the hasty nature means. I could have swore when I was looking at War Turtle that it told us at some point. Um, this release. We don't want to do that. Alright, anyway, we're going to drop him into our party. I debated on Oddish or Bellsprout, but uh, I chose Oddish. Long run. I think they both have the same ability, chlorophyll. Let's see. Um, ability. Where does it show the ability? Shows it. Did I miss it? Okay. Oh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, chlorophyll. Double speed during harsh sunlight. So, if we can uh, find them when the no sunny day, it'll have really, it'll be really fast Pokemon. Alright. So we're going to add Oddish. And, um, we're going to give him one. Oh yeah, i got to put him at the front so we can train him. Alright, so we're going to go get our bicycle. We may not even really do anything in the, um, in the boat today. And this is not what I thought it was. But we did get an old rod. I went in the wrong house. Where is the... Oh, he's down here. Alright, this is the guy that's going to give us the uh, 
free bike, basically. Well, he's not, he's not going to give us a free bike. He's going to give us something to get a free bike. This is the Pokemon Fan Club. I raise more than 100 Pokemon. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. I surely am. So do you come to visit here my Pokemon? He said, yes. He said, good. Listen up. My favorite, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You know, you, you think so? Oh, yes. It's stunning. Kindly. Love it. Hug it when it's when sleeping warm and cuddly spectacular ravishing oops look at the time I kept you too long thanks for hearing me out I want you to have this hey Jacob Anthony Jacob received a bike voucher from the chairman take that to the bike shop in Cerulean City exchange that exchange that for a bicycle free of charge don't worry my favorite pharaoh will fly me anywhere I need to go so have a nice ah, so I have no need for a bicycle I hope you enjoy cycling alright so he gave us a free bike voucher we got an old ride so we're making some progress, and we're gonna go on up here. Oh, um, how did I pull back? Yep. We I would notice we have uh, we're bullet seed, and we're gonna use that on Oddish right now and give it a new move. It learned bullet seed. Um, we don't need any of the rest of them right now, so we're gonna move on. Oddish evolves twice. Just like War Turtle War, or uh, Squirtle did. Squirtle borrowed their War Turtle and soon will be a Blastoise. Um, Oddish will evolve into Gloom. And then later, will evolve into. Whoops. Will evolve into um, File Bloom. But the second evolution is different. It's not by level, it's by stone. So we will have to get a Leaf Stone to um, evolve it. Alright, let's go up here and get this bike. Um, I may not... Can I do this without cut? I may not be able to do this without cut. We may be wasting our time. I don't think you can... Um, you can cut that and go through, but we don't have a cut yet. You get it from the boat. Oh yeah, we can just go back this way. Yeah, that's cool. Alright. Whoops. Alrighty. Go down here to the bike shop. There we go. And then we'll head back down and uh, we'll go into the ship. Um, what did I do? Oh, I have my fingers on the wrong buttons. Alright, we got a bike. And as you see up at the top, we got our fishing rod and our bike that are hot keyed now. And I could have swore we got a map. But apparently we didn't. I cannot find it anywhere. See, the bike is so much faster. So you go into a house or something, it automatically goes away where you can like run through the house. So. But I like this better than the Game Boy. The Game Boy, you can only hotkey one item, and it was always to select. But this one, you get six of them. So here we go. down here to the other one, I guess it'll take this back off. Yeah. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> it's so weird. Oh. Uh, you can actually catch a Psyduck here. If uh, you're into Psyduck, who evolves into Golduck, you can catch them right there. I, I don't know if you have to surf, or if you can catch it with the old rider, but, um, it's not a Pokemon I'm interested in. I don't remember there being too two gates to the ship. Let's talk to this guy. The SSN is a famous luxury cruise ship that visits for a million once a year. Welcome to the sand. Excuse me, do you have a ticket? Yeah, I flash the ticket. Great. Let me go on in. Alrighty. Alright, so this is uh, the SSN. And it has several levels, all with all these different doors to go to. We're going to start down here. I can't run. There we go. And uh, see all these doors. We're going to start at the end. And we'll probably do this level and call it an episode. See, there's trainers in just about every room or items or something. So you need to check every room when you come in here. 
It's a good training opportunity. Oddish, this would be the perfect place to train Oddish because there's a lot of work we've done if it was a high enough level. As you see, we are five levels lower than the other Pokemon, which is not good. Um, I don't have any revives, so we're not going to take a chance right now. We're just going to throw in War Turtle and let him uh, do the battling. Ice Spear. Oh, that wouldn't have been good. No, that's an Ice Attack. That would have been super effective to Oddish. Most likely he would have died. And it hit four times. There we go. Okay. Um, bite. <laughs> and the idea is, like, you throw him out originally, he gets experience with Oddish Pokemon, then you have to swap back to Oddish in order to um, get him experience for the other ones. So, every time you beat a Pokemon, you gotta throw the other one back in. The easiest way to train a really low level Pokemon that cannot battle on its own unless you get an XP share. What? Why did it not ask me if I wanted to change Pokemon? That sucks. Okay. Well, uh, we're not going to be able to do that except for the first one because if I throw them out now, and there must be something in the settings, or they changed this game or something because used to be like, you want to change Pokemon, and, and now it doesn't do that. So, it's going to be a little harder to train him. He'll get to see the first Pokemon in the um, there we go. War Turtle's just beasting all of them. And oh, I thought he went to level 33, but apparently he's like 1 XP away. Alright, let's see what this other guy's got going on. He's a trainer also. He's gonna send me off the plank if I lose. Okay. Good luck with that. Why does a sailor have a Machop? Okay then, and it's level 20. Pokemon swap. And Karate Chop, no, Seismic Toss. Alright, we're gonna use Water Pulse. And we should go to level 3. Right here. I honestly believe we'll probably have a Blastoise before we get off the ship. And Oddish also grew a little. Trying to learn Poison Powder. Yes, sir. Uh, we'll take get rid of uh, Sweet Set. There we go. Beaten by a kid. <laughs> we got some money. Alright, let's go with the next door. There's five doors here, so... Let's look this item is for. Oh, never mind, he caught us. <laughs> so I went by. Anyway, we'll do the battle first, that's fine. Sailor Q. Sends out a star U. Level 18. I just need to go about five more levels before I battle any at all, and then it still won't be able to last long because it'll be on the same level as the other Pokemon, so. We'll need to train it up quite a bit. It's got a long, long attack of the War Turtle. And it's going to be this way every time we add one. We'll have to catch him up. Hopefully we find an XP shot at some point. Um, oops, I, I meant to use by it. I clicked the wrong thing. It's not very effective. Alright, he's acid. That's unnecessary damage right there. Eh, but whatever. I thought I shot him, but it's possible we could have. 405, and that's it for him. Alright, let's grab this item and head to the next room. TM44, let's see what that is. Ag. Uh, which one was TM's? Um, 44. Rest. Rest is a move that puts you to sleep for, I think, like five turns, but it heals you when you originally go to sleep, but you also get injured while you're still asleep. So if you don't have, like, wow, okay, he was watching this door. When if you if you use rest and then you get attacked five times, unless they're barely doing any damage to you, then it doesn't really help you a whole lot. There are certain moves like Sleep Talk that lets you um, attack while asleep. Though. So there, that is a thing. Usually you see like a Snorlax or somebody like that. You see a tanky type Pokemon that has a lot of HP so that when it gets hit, it doesn't affect it that much. There we go. Finish off the horsey. I wish it would ask me to change. I, I, I need to see, like, off screen if I can change that. Wants to learn stun score. We will learn 
damage stuns for. Um, that's the thing about Grass Pokemon, they can do all kinds of status effects. Uh, we'll get rid of Acid. Hopefully, uh, I want to teach him Mega Drain. I think you get that from one of the gyms. So, Mega Drain also makes, will make it so much stronger. But, uh, it does status effects and it can kill itself. That's what makes Grass Pokemon so annoying to fight and so strong is those types of abilities. I also want to teach it a poison type move. So we'll do that as well at some point whenever it learns one or we find a TM that can help us out. And if, oh, I did not mean to hit run. Um, finish that off. And there we go. We'll probably go ahead and kill War Turtle after we finish these five doors. There's an item in here as well. Ether. That'll give us a uh, PP back on our um, moves for War Turtle, who's doing all the battling right now. So you run out of moves, you struggle, which hits the other Pokemon and hurts you. It's like takedown, sort of. So eventually, you know, you're gonna die. But, uh, send, bring Oddish back in, so now. There we go. There we go. Running through this pretty quickly. We're just about out of bite. I think we have eight left now. So, we're running out of that pretty quick. Let's go to fight a lot of water Pokemon. Uh, we got one more guy in here. And I think one more door. And we'll be finished. And we'll call that an episode after we heal. We'll go ahead and use that ether and a super potion or two to War Turtle. So. Wow, that, that one's level 21. If a trainer only has one Pokemon, usually it's slightly higher level than someone who has like three. So, it's, it's pretty realistic in that way because um, it's easier to train one than three. So, yeah, we only have eight bots left now, seven. Jeez, we're gonna have to use three on this. Might be able to use a rapid spin to finish it off. We need to finish it off. We're gonna have to heal after this trainer. We're gonna use bite just to make sure we take it out. There we go. <laughs> that was interesting. It did quite a bit of damage. That shelter was pretty strong. Sleep powder. Uh we'll get rid of absorb for now. I will not keep all of these status changes. Most likely, I will only keep one. So, Stun Spore, which, stun, which paralyzes you, Sleep Powder, which pushes you to sleep, obviously, and then um, Poison Powder, which poisons you. I will only keep one as it learns more moves, and we'll have to. I'll have to make a decision at some point on which one to do. Is that a, let's go ahead and use this Ether, War Turtle, Bite. Uh, use super potion you. So at some point I will make a decision on which one to keep. I usually keep um, poison powder, just because it's the most effective in my opinion. It does damage, and you know, I don't like this guy battle you actually. I was on another super potion. I'm gonna choke super strong. He has strength, you know, strength to move rocks. Anyway. It'll be a pros like I probably won't be sleep powder just because sleep is kind of here and there. You could sleep for five turns, you could sleep for one, put him sleep for one. It just depends. So most likely it'll be poison powder or stun spore that I keep, and I'll have to make a decision on that. But uh, right now we have all of them. And we 
find a hawker potion in there. You check the trash cans. Always check the trash cans. Alright, so we're gonna come right here and we're gonna work our way down this hallway starting on the next episode. But that's gonna be it for the day, guys. Uh, I hope the quality of the video is better. I'm doing my best to try to increase in do better quality videos and get my voice where you can hear and uh, where the sound's not so loud and that kind of stuff. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, guys.